First, I want to take some of your words last night in Musica Pula that we as a young generation should not be involved on labeling individuals like this guy is Musica, this guy is Kodari or something like that. Yet, we are probably aware that in this time of period, our internet and our social media are polluted by so many ideas from many fair talk, like Nurgia, or Fido, whatever. I'm kind of nervous right now. <laughs> um, plenty of them are claiming themselves are as a fair talk and Nurgia. And the worst part is, each of them got their own picture. And knowing the fact that even the student of Ibn Abbas, which is a Nafi Ibn Azro, even fall into their kind of shupa. So that made me think that should we really limit our source of information from particular to youth? But in the same time, I think that will lead me to good. So which, which made me think that I really hope you can give me or give us a young generation a principle of co or co-op to, to examine or filter any of those ideas that come to us like a pouring rain. So I think that's all pretty much my question. Thank you so much. Really glad to have you here. Barakallah feek. Akhi, this is not something that we can gamble with. I cannot say to the youth, listen to everyone and inshallah you'll be safe. Because this is putting you in the middle of the ocean when you don't know how to swim and say inshallah you'll be safe. If not eaten by shark you will drown. <laughs> so in Islam Allah Azza wa Jal tells us to go to the Quran and to the Sunnah. Whenever you have dispute, go back to Quran and Sunnah to Allah and the Messenger Now we have, as you have stated, 72 sects, which the Prophet said, all in hell except one. And everyone has hujjah. This is not true. If, you, if they had hujjah, Allah would have confused us and we would not know what is right and what is wrong. No, no, no. Al-haqqu ablaj. Truth is clear as daylight. You can see it. Anyone from the people of khawarij, murji'a, of innovation, of aqidah that is corrupt, the moment he opened his mouth, immediately you know it's falsehood. While the people on the path of the Prophet والسلام, the moment they open their mouths, you say, hmm, natural. I feel good. I feel that this is going with my soul because this is the religion of Allah. So you as the youth, what to do? Number one, don't engage yourself with something that would confuse you because this is what shaitan wants you to do. Shaitan's only mission in life is to gather as many volunteers and companions in hellfire. That's it. Whether you do it through lusts and desires, whether you do it through whispers and doubts, whether you do it through shirk and oaths and desires, whether you do it through whispers and doubts, whether you do it through shirk and OCD, no problem, you choose. I want you to be with me in hellfire. This is what shaitan wants. So now as youth, you have to focus. If you go to the gym and you don't focus on what you're doing by just looking at people and you will lose. You will be distracted. No, focus on what you're doing. What are you doing? I'm learning Islam. How to learn Islam? Learn the book of Allah. How to learn the book of Allah? Learn the tafsir, the meaning, and memorize. Then learn about the sunnah of the Prophet 
implement it in your life. Learn about the aqeedah of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. Once you do this, you can easily filter, but you don't go and listen to filter. Rather, if you hear something, you will be able to filter. By saying this, we say you have to follow one trusted sheikh. A sheikh, you trust his knowledge. You trust his religious commitment. You trust his akhlaq. I wouldn't trust a sheikh who sits with women and flirts with them and laughs and cracks jokes and she cracks jokes and <laughs> my place or yours. This is not a real sheikh. A real sheikh who is committed to Islam, to abiding by the religion. If you follow this sheikh, he will manage to carry you until you reach a level. Will you say, when you say to the sheikh, Zakallah khair, you did your job, I can walk on my own now. Because now I, you have given me the knowledge and the strength to see for myself. But till then, you have to be with the sheikh. Otherwise, you may be distracted like you have said. Hello. Hello. So you may be distracted by the different people on the arena that you will have doubts in your own religion, which is very bad. People of deviance and different sects, they do not have hujjah. And Nafi ibn al-Azraq, who came to Ibn Abbas and Abba Abbas, uh, uh, cleared it up for him his doubts I think if I'm not mistaken he also went to Umar and shared with him some of his doubts what did Umar do he took his stick and hit him on his head until his head started bleeding so he says do you still have doubts he said no 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 khalas. doubts are gone all gone disappeared he said okay now you go so this is the best way inshallah of solving doubts a good stick Hey.